Oh, lovely day but don't rain. <laughs> Happy hump day, YouTube. It is 20 after 11 in the morning yet. Raining off and on, so yeah. One of my free umbrella lalas. Doggies in the house. Yeah, just doing light duty stuff. Stripping barbecues apart. Appliances are gone, right? The freezer, the two dryers, and the other fridge. He called me about an hour before he showed up. Well, you plug it in. If it blows cold, I'll take it. Okay, so it was all moldy and mildewy and uh. But anyways, I'm doing light duty stuff, so I'm stripping barbecues, working on them. Those are done. This guy and this guy and the stoves have to be done yet. Otherwise, everything over there is done. So, two barbecues and two stoves. TV, well, I'm not sure what I'll do with him. Stainless is starting to pile up. Then what I have to strip yet is just what's behind me. Not too bad. Uh, air compressor, yeah, I took it apart. It uh, wasn't pressuring up. Now, I don't know how hard of a job it is to fix that. But, can you see that? It broke. Uh, that's the regulator valve. That broke right off. It sits like that. You know, connects into there. That's why it wasn't pressuring up. So, I'm going to bring it to a buddy in town. That's his specialty, is air compressors and water pumps, deep well pumps and stuff like that. And see what he thinks. If he says scrap it, then I'll scrap it. Because it runs great. If he says we can fix it, we can fix it. And then I'll sell it. The other one is still in there. The guy kept saying he was coming, he was coming, he was coming. And he never showed up. You've, you've seen it. Here, we'll sneak in there. Try not to get too wet. That guy. <clears throat> Why does it smell like pot in here? I bet you it's from these alcohol containers. It stinks. But anyways, 50 bucks, that's all I'm asking. I thought that was cheap enough. So I got somebody else coming around 3 o'clock. He definitely said he wants it, so. <clears throat> it had another pipe on there, but it was... It was a copper pipe that he stuck on top of that, so I just left that flat bar in there. What the hell with it? I'm keeping the copper. Number one copper. Woo! So, yeah, we're just playing in the rain. If you take uh, these things apart, you get some nice brass out of them. Stainless steel screws hold them onto the barbecue. That's stainless steel. Unfortunately, that is steel. Then, of course, the tail. That's all cast aluminum clean except this one. I still have to take that piece of steel off. And then some brassy bits, some more stainless steel. It's non-magnetic. And that's the steel. Most of the time these are brass. But, see, sticks lovely to a magnet. Brass don't stick to a magnet. So. Yeah, not bad, eh? It's not the world's greatest umbrella. But look, my space is dry. And I can be outside. So yeah, it's supposed to rain off and on all freaking day long. So that's fine. We need the rain. Look, look at the edge of my driveway. I did not do Roundup. That's just because of drought. We've been dry for a couple weeks now. So the other day we had a nasty storm roll through, but all of it, all it, all it was was wind. Barely any rain. Blew a few things around. That's it. So I'm gonna rip my. The roof of my gazebo yeah so it's it's pooched so anyways this is the catch up you all seen last night or this morning monday's video because well they're doing something with a pipeline over here in the grass like a couple buildings over and the guys dug and unburied that great big mob bell line that feeds everybody down this road. So we had no internet for about 30 hours. So I had the guy come around yesterday morning. Called Monday night. They sent a technician over. So Tuesday morning he came over. He went straight to the box there. 
Yep, you got no power coming to the house. So he didn't even worry about it in the house. So he put a, a tracer on that. He hooked something up to it and then had the other control thingy and he went driving down the road and he found the end of it. So, And they were working all day yesterday on it and we got internet about 6 o'clock six yesterday after evening. So that's why Monday's video was so late. And uh, for some reason, because we had no internet in the house, I thought I could use the hot spot off my phone, but my computer wouldn't allow it because it's saying there's no internet connection. I said, well, that's why I'm trying to hook up to my phone, to leech off my phone, because I have unlimited data. It should have worked, but it wouldn't. Every time you come up to the hot spot button there on it, it was blank. You could put the cursor on it and it wouldn't do anything. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing everything ass backwards, but whatever. So, I'm just going to, yeah, see, now it's letting up again. So, yeah, I got a little bit of a mess. Those wheels, that. And then all my uh, doors here, I got about six or seven of them here. And the antenna, of course. Like this is all has to be done yet. That's all sheet aluminum. I think it's worth it. It's heavy sheet. So, yeah, that's what I've been up to. Just in case you're wondering. The back is feeling better. I'm watching what I do. Still every once in a while it reminds me that it's not 100%. Well, it never will be because the... The three discs in my lower bottom there by the tailbone are done. They're worn out. They're bone on bone. So nobody wants to fix them. So yeah, I pop pills. Canada does not want to do that. I told, told my doctor or I told the specialist, I said, well, I can go across the river into Detroit there and 150,000. I can get my back. Oh, they're always in a hurry in the States to fix you. And I said, well, I've been doing this for over 20 years. Like... I don't think it's a hurry anymore. But they refuse to do it. So I figured just get those two fused together, you know. I can still work properly and I won't get the pinch pain anymore. But no, 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 no. So Canada's got a great health care system. Yeah, it's great as long as you don't use it. So anyways, rain's letting up. I'm going to get back to work a little harder. I don't know what to do with this bike. That's an automatic shifter. Anybody ever see one of those before? I don't know how that works. It's got this thing and that thing and that thing. I guess by the speed, the faster you pedal, the lower it goes to get your gears because there's no shifting for it. It's called automatic. A clutchless bike. <laughs> But yeah, somehow that works. But my bike guy doesn't want it. They don't want to go anywhere near it. Yeah, okay, whatever. So it'll sit there. I'll put it somewhere. It's got aluminum rims on it, so that'll come off anyways. But I hate like how to destroy it if somebody knows how that works and can play with it. So yeah. This barbecue, this one, those two stoves and that bike still have to be stripped. I keep forgetting to get in touch with my buddy about those yet. I should do that too when I go in. It's 11.30 now, so we're going in in half an hour for lunch. And uh, yeah, this will help the grass grow. Yeah, we love it. So have a nice day. This is long enough. Take care. Happy hump day.